Okay, we are doing round two. I already have one cart full. That's my second cart. And it has definitely picked up from earlier. That's interesting, isn't it? Ooh. But yes, there was so much stuff that I'm doing around too. Like I looked up and Bins was insanely busy, so everyone woke up and decided to come on down. Oh hey, I found this one, but it was in another bin. I think Kombu, if that's how you say it, is a good brand. Kelly and Katie. Oh my, what happened? Dear Lord, living. Rockport. Hmm. Oh. Is it supposed to be like that? Oh, maybe it is. Hmm, I think I'll leave those. Nativa. For $7.99. Jessica Simpson. The newest out besides this one is where you'll see that to dig. Oh, my Atlanta. The insides are just like. Ooh, they are fry. Hmm, let me see. is still worth it, to be honest. What are you? You're kind of cute. Oh 
part. Does it come with a passport? No. get my train of carts here and get going. This is multitasking. I'm dragging one cart, pushing another cart, and recording. recipe cards. Juicy couture. Oh, it's a little, um, jewelry. But it is Vintage Hallmark photo album. Not you. Hmm. Ooh, I love this. Susie Zoo. goes over a candle, kind of like this, maybe? Maybe this is a bad example, but...
Okay, let's go look down here. painted that. It's like a puzzle fake flower explosion. some other bins. Day two. Vintage ribbon. That's kind of fun.
Oh my god, man. It's a big old Santa. Foe Vera Bradley. Flowers, 1994. Here's the little box. This is um, the Humane Society store downtown. This is not glass, I don't think. It feels like plastic. Pink Scooby. for some clothes. Rebel, James, and Charlie. Like a Hawaiian dog print? Oh, look at that. Palm Grove. Geoffrey Bean. Articles of Society.
jeans cut from the cloth. 16W, that's a nice size. I think I'll get those. Oh, I got a hair in my eye. What are these? These also look like a good size. Target. Target. Style in fashion. What is this? Craft and flow. Ever twenty one Cook Street. I think that's good. I'll double check on that. What are you? Maybe a homemade what is that. That is fun. Polo Ralph Lauren undies. Special. Starry Nights made in Guatemala.
an outdoors mean? Door, door. Door, door, door. Jenny U. Size 10. It's a cute dress. I don't look like it. Nice tank top. I think I'll get you that. Um, I was saying in a previous video, J Crew size four, but look at the neck. Hunting blazer. Um, I was saying in I believe my previous video that I'm going to be putting together lots of clothing, handbags, maybe shoes. I need to see how I can ship things where people aren't paying an insane amount, but as reseller lots. So if you're a reseller and you have a hard time sourcing, I'm going to be putting together some lots and starting them at $9.99 on eBay. Um, or if you just want to get a lot of clothes just for funsies, you know, you can do that too. But uh, I think that's what I'm going to do so that I can kind of move through some stuff. I'm having a hard time here. Because whatnot, I can do that, but it is one item at a time. I'm going to just put it here and I'm going to look at it later. Um, and these I'm going to be doing around 20 items in a lot. So if that's something that interests you, I will be doing that. Actually, I have two per slots going right now, but they are, um, what would you call it? They need help. Like the purses need to be cleaned or this or that, and I don't have time for it. So I'm lotting a bunch of purses up for $9.99. Uh, name brand and just regular. I think I'm going to be doing a long chomp lot. I think I have like four or five long chomps instead of posting them all individually. I think I'm just going to do a lot of them and start it at $9.99. So if that's something that interests you, that will be coming up on my eBay. And I should be lotting stuff by size. There probably will be some that are not, but I'm going to try and lot it by size so people can buy according to whatever size they want to buy or sell. Zara. Look at that. See, that would be a good thing or a good item to put in there. Zara's pretty sellable, saleable and good condition so that's kind of the stuff i'm aiming to lot up what are these empire they're 
actually way cool. Yes. Actually in pretty good shape, I'll get that. Vero Moda. That's kind of a cute jacket. Size five. Ooh, those smaller sizes are hard to sell. Old Navy. Lovely by Adriana Pell, size 10 US. That is a cute dress. A little. There's some like armpit staining. Oh, that's cute. Crescent England. Those are some fancy plates. I might come back for those. Very 
tripped up. Oh, that's kind of fun. Earthbound. I get that. Okay, let's keep it moving, keep it moving. Victoria's Secret. and they've got these like studded tigers on them. I think I'll get this. Just gotta make sure nothing's gonna fall out. but I'm leaving that one. Banana Republic. Handles are really bad. Almost dropped it. Cuba. I think Kuba's good. Let's get the Kuba. Gosh, I am just dragging stuff all over. I have too much in my arms right now. <laughs> Let's keep taking a look. ones ever made. La Collection Accessory.
Rose Festival 1989 Navy Cruise. Mm -hmm. H and M. all of these. What is this? Oh, it's a wooden plane display. sewing box I don't know. <laughs> I'm questioning it. <laughs> it's a fine line, you know, of are they cute or are they not? <laughs> Are they cute or are they scary? What do you think? <laughs> Let's put that in there as well. Um, I'm gonna look up some of these. And then, oh, I might pick up those plates too. Go back to the bin and pick up those plates. And then I will be back with new bins. Okay, I picked up a few things. We got a clown collection an array of different clothing and I found this um like porthole ship decor uh Seaway Productions California I couldn't really find much on it but it's pretty cool um and it'll be glass price so all right I am about ready to go through a few more clothing
they also put out some new bins, so I'm gonna go over there. And they are putting out more new bins. So, lots to keep up with. Johnny was. Hello. Yes, I will. Harvey Bernard. Made in Belarus. Size 16. It's like a nice floral print. And then a Johnny Was top and a Michael Kors top, which I don't know. Michael Kors clothing does not really sell that well. So that's a question mark. But I'll take the rest. your own bank from a target Ooh, there's a matching one Oh, scary baby. They kind of look old, though. I'm not sure. Bunch of bunnies. I like a lot of bunnies. I've never even or the store sprouts. Colleen 
Therese Designs. It's a little longer. Um, Truly box. And Cupcake Kitty. Oh my god, these are amazing. I'm gonna get those. is Vince Camuto. We'll get my one and throw it on the shoulder. Montana West. Finding good things? Oh. oh, that sucker on my shoulder. Are you relic? I don't pick up a ton of relics, but they can be decent. to myself. shoving stuff in there. What's that say? Capital City Amateur Golf Club. like some forestry in a box. Mm -hmm. Tempting. Mm. Could that come off? Maybe. It also needs a zipper pull added. I might try. Let me go add some stuff. 
into my cart and I will be back. Do you want me to put them up? I'll put them on your chair. There you go. What? Oh, no. Uh -uh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Puffkin down cleaning.
Hey, we have some new bins coming out. So we will see. This will probably be my last row. I might go through a few clothing. But this will probably be my last bin. And then I am taking my my carts and I'm going. I'm getting it, getting it. It's enough for me for a day. Two carts load. load. Nice, but I don't think I want them. <laughs> <laughs>
lagi Oh, I've sold one of these before. They take forever. It's kind of no bueno. Okay, let's take this. Okay, here we are with cart number two. Here's cart number one. <laughs> so this is what I found second round. I've been here for... four hours. So this is what I got in four hours. Um, I used to work full time and do this and this is kind of what I would do is I would just get a ton and then I could work through this stuff um, while I worked my other job. Not like, at the same time but I wouldn't have to come out multiple times a week to get stuff. So you definitely can if you want to work two jobs but I have chosen to just do the one for now and that is reselling so this is what I do anyways let's go through cart number two for the day and see what we found in this go let me take my glove off because my hand is sweaty also these nails are really pretty and everything but these little bows catch on everything and it's annoying me first world problems Anyway, let's start. Okay, first is this like port hole nautical decor with a boat and it is has a sticker of Seaway Productions, Costa Mesa. So that will be glass price, so. Going to get that. Next is Glide Dreamlight, made in Germany. Um, I could only find one of these. But it's really pretty. I didn't look it up. I probably should. But getting that. Not sure if I'm getting my clown trio. I have a little clown party here. And I'm not sure. Glass price. It'll be glass price on those two. So we'll see about that. Next is hand painted. I don't really know much else, but it's really pretty. And then a hand-painted, do you drink out of this? Out of the hand-painted teacup? Or is this just for looks? I don't, I don't know. Um, this I'm not sure if I'm getting. It's a Polo Ralph Lauren made in El Salvador, size large. Um, it's in good condition. I just have like four of those already, so I'm not gonna get another one. Next are some patterns, Paola patterns from Hawaii, Kona Street, Tonolulu, Hawaii. Did not look those up either, so that'll be a surprise. Um, Susie's Zoo little uh, notepad, some vintage recipe cards oh my gosh these are adorable look at those okay so we got that let me put my breakables up here there we go maybe get my clowns we'll see about them Okay, next is Judy Bloom Denim, size 32 or 15, skinny fit. There is a little, like, thigh wear. So, I might get these, I might not. I believe this is a good brand. I've sold a pair of pants before, but it was new at Tags, but I'm pretty sure she's a good pickup. Next is a union-made little corset top goddess. 46 double D. It does have some staining and some of the wires a little funky dunky. But these usually sell really well. So I think even with the staining, it'll be okay. Especially this larger size. You don't see vintage lingerie in like a bigger cup. 
and so I'm probably gonna get that. Next is Barbazon. Like a satin house dress and like a minty, well, I wouldn't say minty, more like aqua, aqua color. We have a vintage fossil. It's in pretty good shape. I mean, it has the distressing and whatnot, but not too bad. Does it smell? No. Okay. Um, I have a Kate Spade wallet. It's missing its little zipper pull and someone branded it. Or did they get this stamped? Hmm. They might have had this stamped. I was thinking if they did it, I could probably get it off, but if it was stamped, which I think Kate Spade will let you do, it'll probably be more difficult to get that off, so not sure if I'm going to be getting that. Next, a Cossique bra, 38C, a Garwood dump truck, Garwood 900, I don't know if it's a bank. I'm not sure what that there's, what that there, <laughs> what it's there for. Um, I could not find any of these. So, but the brand is like an actual company, not like a toy company. So, I don't know. I'm going to get it and find out. Next is a Vince Camuto little like hobo well it's not little but it's a hobo bag and like a pebbled leather it's very coach looking but looks pretty good so I'll probably get that next are hot iron transfers these are vintage and look at this amazingness it says I'm a little trucker a uh, convoy that's a big 10-4. Ooh, and she's got some large tatas. Mm, put the pedal to the metal. Anyways, it's just a book of CB and trucking designs, hot transfers. So, getting that. I have a set of these paper swans. It looks like someone. I was gonna say, it looks like, um post in notes but I have no idea I don't know how they made it or exactly how this happened but they are amazing and it took a lot of work for someone to do these and I have two <laughs> so I'll be selling them as a pair Okay, next is this little wooden, I don't know if this is myrtle wood, but little candle stick holder. I was hoping there might be another one, but there wasn't, but that's okay. One is good. Don't want to be greedy. Okay, next is Basics Fenrite and Mason. I think this is vintage. It's made in the Mariana Islands, and it's a very fun print. There's a little stainy right there but the print is amazing so we're gonna get that next is a new with tags loft dress size large very fun colorful um, floral print love it there's not a lot I don't love though what can I say uh, next halogen Sold at Macy's, another dress. I don't know the size. It does look a bit larger. Maybe like a 16? Maybe? Maybe a little larger? But um, I'll measure it and find out since the size tag was taken out. Next is American Eagle Next Level Stretch Size 8. They're inside out, so I'm not turning them right side in. Um, jegging. People are getting rid of them, but... People still love their jeggings, so there is still a want for them out there. Next is this really fun purple long button-down cardigan from Loft, size large. Next is a pair of 
J. Crew size small vintage terry cloth lounge pants in like a corally pink color. And next is Flynn Sky made in USA size extra small. I believe it's like a blazer or top. Next is a Johnny Was workshop size small top. This one isn't like as intense as some of the Johnny Was shirts, but it'll still sell really well because the brand is like very, very popular and expensive, very expensive. Next is a vintage McGregor made in USA, next size 15 to 15 and a half men's floral and paisley shirt with like the pointed collar. Next is a, what is this again? Howler Bros size large shirt. I didn't look the brand up, so I'm hoping it's decent, but it's almost like a terry cloth. Western pearl snap. I thought it said Wrangler because it looks just like the font or whatever, but it is not. Next is a Broken Promises t-shirt, size large. It says Broken Promises Numb World, I think. Get in that. Next is a... Oh, it looks like it's missing some of its beading. But this is Earthbound Trading Company. Kind of like a boho bag. Next is a mini, when it's branded Becky, raw leather, um, hand tooled purse, like a little mini guy. Very cute. Next is a belt. It has these tigers and M, and it is. It just says genuine leather 3738. Oh, it says maybe a brand there, but it's super um, faded. Okay, next is a Kuba bag. I can't super remember if Kuba is worth it, but I'll double check. Kuba leather bag. Next, another fossil. I think this one is a vintage one. It has some fading and whatnot, but not bad. Next, I do not know this brand. It's Furchi. Furchi. Genuine leather designed in Spain. Made in India. So we got that. And next is a dress form, Los Angeles size, small, really fun dress. It's really, really pretty. It has like a ruffle, um, I don't know how to describe it. There's a ruffle. A nice like sheen blue. I think it's really pretty. Okay, next is a vintage Betsy Johnson. I was hoping that I could find the pants, but it's just the um, sleep top polka dot. Uh, free people. Uh, what is this? Intimately? Intimately free people, I believe. Little bralette. I think I sold one of these before. It does relatively decent. Next is a little vintage bustier. I'll have to look up what the brand is, but it's just a black. It goes like this. I'm pretty sure. No, like this. I don't know, it's a mystery right now, but it's a bustier. Next, a J. Jill size small tank. That's really pretty. Really, really pretty. 
a weight pull bra in size 38C. A dress, Jenny Yu collection, size 10, and it's a very fun, like, pastel, flowy, sleeveless dress. It's really pretty. Okay, not sure if I'm getting these. They are boys in the hood. They go for, like, 20-ish. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's a it's a question mark. They're size large. Next is a vintage J Crew size four wool blazer, hunting blazer, and this is the collar. Has like the grouse, whatever, and hunting dogs, pheasants. Maybe they're pheasants. I don't know if grouse can fly. I don't. Know. Ignore me. Next is a Skylar Madison dress. I think it's a smaller size, but it's a really nice, pretty gold color. It's a curvy dress. Next is a pair of cut from the cloth size 16W, so nice size, cut from the cloth. I don't really pick up unless it's a decent size because they take forever to sell for me. Um, but it's nice and in good condition and Goodwill wanted $12.99. And next is a Hawaiian Royal, I think. Royal Creation? Royal, no. Why am I saying Royal? Creations Hawaii Extra Extra Large. Either Mumu house dress, maybe both. Got that. Next is a pair of Nine West shoes and like a blue nautical stripe. And these are size seven and a half. Got those. We got a pair of fry boots. They need a little um wipe off. The inside is a little little well used as well, but fry you can usually get a decent amount even if they're well used. So next are a pair of little children's. I don't really know anything about them, but I have a pair. Um next is Zara Basics size small and it is a either a duster or a dress and Goodwill wanted $9.99 and last which I'm not sure if I'm getting but is this bowl there is no marking on it But I'll do a screenshot and see if I can find out more about what it is. But I shall see. I shall see. All right. There we are with part number two. We got a large load. Got a large load. I got a lot of processing to do. Um, but keep your eyes out for those lots on eBay if you're interested. I'm going to be starting to go through my storage locker and what I have not posted and making some lots. So if that interests you, there will be stuff coming out um, pretty consistently on eBay for $9.99 for a lot starting. It's on auction, so it'll go for what it goes for. But if that interests you, it will be coming out. But I am off for the day. If you could give this video a thumbs up, I would so appreciate it. It helps people find the video and it helps YouTube support the channels where there is more engagement on them so if you could do that that would be amazing and if you could leave a uh, emoji or a comment a very nice comment I will not accept the hateful ones <laughs> but if you'll leave a comment or an emoji anything like that that also helps because it is shows engagement with the channel so I appreciate it so much 
and I will be coming back soon. So stay tuned for more digging. All right. See you later. Bye.